you, Paul. Well, we're, we're uh, all excited about this. My next guest's name is truly the only introduction she needs. Please welcome Zsa Zsa Gabor. You look terrific. Why are you so surprised? I'm not surprised. <laughs> well, I tell you, because I haven't... I've only seen you in person one other time, and that was many years ago. Well? And, and, well, it was in Los Angeles. What did I do? What did you do? It was uh, at an adult bookstore, and we were... I no, 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 no. <laughs> No, it was uh, a long time ago. At the Jenny Carson show? No, it was uh, something else. Uh, you want me to tell you, really? It was a, it was a run through one for... One of a... my divorces or one of my marriages? <laughs> no. I don't know. It was, uh, we were working, sort of, on a, on a show for somebody. Uh, you were, I was a, a kind of a stand-in. But anyway, you, you have such a... Nice, got me so interested. What did you stand in for? It was a, a game show that was being produced by a man named Ron Greenberg, and you were going to be one of the uh, stars I, of the show. I never know who produces anything. I only know what I do. I'm not interested in producers, nor are they <laughs> But anyway, getting well, back I'm to the glad, original... I'm glad to be here, But darling. you make such a striking entrance, you know, and that's what I meant. I wasn't surprised, but Thank I mean... Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, everything all right? I understand there was problems in the dressing room? None. Uh, the air conditioning okay? Well, he froze the hell out of me, but otherwise I'm okay. I am frozen. Oh, you're okay But that's now. okay. I like it. All right. Uh, is, it, is it true that you became an actress as a result of, of a wager? Yeah, well, I, I was a housewife, housefrau, married to George Sanders. And uh, James Mason was George Sanders' best friend. Once said, George is so funny, why don't you let her act? George didn't want an actress, all the actresses in Hollywood. Remember George Sanders, or maybe you're too young, oh, you no. don't. Oh, sure. Oh, isn't that awful? Anyhow, <laughs> and James Mason said, George is so funny, let her go on television. George said, oh, no, she's too dumb, she can't do it. And that got me very upset after all this my husband. And so George went to London to play one of his King Arthur's, and I... His brother, Tom Conway, you know, brothers never get along. So Tom said, Josh, how would you like to come on a show called Bachelor's Haven? I said, I loved it. Bachelor's Haven. Bachelor's Haven. Next day, I got life cover, look cover. I got MGM studio contract for a long term. Just for being on this one show? Yeah, but I said such outrageous things. Somebody said, for example, what do you do if you break up the engagement? You have to give back the ring. I said, you must give back the ring, but keep the stone, things like that. <laughs> <laughs> And one woman wrote in, she said, my husband is a traveling salesman, but even when he doesn't travel, he doesn't stay home. I says, well, shoot him in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> and a woman actually done it to her husband. She shot him in the leg, so he stayed home. Then she didn't want it him any longer. <laughs> wow. So it actually happened, as, uh, and then you went on to a make George uh, motion Georgie Porter came pictures? back from London. Yeah. I was making Moulin Rouge, and I made. I never stopped since working, and I really wanted to be a veterinary. Yeah, veterinary. that's. Yeah, if you hadn't gone into acting, is there a chance that you would have would have done that? I all my life. I still am. I have five dogs at home and two horses. And I would love to do that, but I have no time because I have to support all the animals, and so that costs lots of money, so I work as an actress. What can you do? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you have five dogs? What, what kind of dogs? I have two German... Oh, I, have, I wrote you my pictures. Two gorgeous German Shepherd males, then I have three Shih Tzus, and two Tennessee walking horses. Three... Say that Shih Tzu, again. that's a Shih Chinese yeah. dog. Those are smaller dogs, aren't they? Well, I let me... That's Herr Dr. Schultz. I had a Schultz oh, before Reagan had a Schultz, I want you this to is, know. This is Dr. Schultz. Hi, Dr. Schultz. That's Frau Dr. That's Schultz. That's a handsome animal, this one is. Oh, he's from Germany. He's gorgeous. Uh -huh. She's not as bright as Frau Dr. Schultz, but she's not as pretty. Uh-huh. By, by the way, these are these uh, Zsa Zsa Gabor pet trading cards. You can... Those are my children. You can get them uh, with that's bubble gum, collect them, red. swap them with your friends. This is my show. Don't you think they're gorgeous? Oh, that's a cutie. I yeah. don't know what they said, but then, look, and that's my show. And this is the most gorgeous horse in the world called Summer Delight. She gets all the blue ribbons. Okay, let's see. I'm sorry, Josh. I, I usually see. travel with them, but I can... This is one of your uh, horses, obviously. That's my Tennessee Volca who gets a blue ribbon all over. Uh -huh. She looks like Greta Garbo when she was on her peak. <laughs> That, look at that face. She got the blue ribbon every place. And listen, I took the 
Sydney Gilleroff, who was a head makeup and hairdresser at MGM, and I said, Sydney, you have to come to the horse show because this horse looks like garbage. She says, you must be nuts, Russia. And after seeing the horse, she says, you know what? She really looks like garbage. No kidding. The horse is so gorgeous. The biggest compliment yeah. because any animal, any person who can look like a gorgeous animal is a compliment, I think. Oh, yeah, I think being compared to a horse is a... <laughs> You can't, uh... I, I mean it as a big company. No, I know. You can't ask for higher praise than that. Listen, I, <laughs> I used to have a, a white Persian kitten, and everyone said I looked like her, and I used to think it's very complimentary, frankly. Is, can I ask you a question about that necklace? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that's a beauty. Now, is, is the, what are those stones? It's from my mother's store here at Medicine Avenue. It's, it's... <laughs> Did you get the address in all right? How about yeah. the phone number? I give... <laughs> Uh, will, will they be open weekends? Uh, or? Yes, it's called Johnny Gabon. <laughs> <laughs> they take all charge cards, do they? Everything. Uh -huh. They're doing right. very good business, though. Very good, thank God. And it's a, uh, so that's not, those it's aren't It's imitation. Actual, no, no, everything I'm is imitation except me, myself. This yeah. is real. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me ask you about your, uh, how many times have you been married? Are you married now? Let's just start there. No, thank God I am not married this time. You see, I was married since I'm 15 years old. As 15. a matter of fact, the press just asked me, say, what did your mother want it for you? I said she wanted me to be happily married. Well, I was seven times happily married, actually. So it's been seven. No, actually eight, but one didn't count. It was only one day. <laughs> <laughs> now, all right, now let's talk about that. What, if it's going to be one day, what, what's the point? Well, there was no point. I was in Palm Beach. I have a little house there on the, on the polo grounds. And my friends took me into this oh, that's Spanish great. A house joke. house on the polo grounds. That's the great. Yeah, polo that's country great. Club. Well, I play polo, you Do see. Do you really? Uh-huh. I wouldn't have guessed that, I guess. Well, nobody guesses I'm a horsewoman. And nobody guesses yeah. nothing about me. They think I'm one of those frilly dames, which I really am not. I just look like it. Yeah. But I'm really a tomboy. I really am. A tomboy? Yeah. Yeah. I am. Um, <laughs> Now, okay, I'm sorry, you, you were married for one day. Now, explain that. This was a Spanish joke in Palm Beach. And in Palm Beach, he looked all right. But when you take him out from Palm Beach, he looked... I don't know to say it because he's in here going to shoot me. But he wasn't right in California because I'm a working woman. And, you know, those now, people don't work. He looked okay in Palm Beach. In Palm Beach, it's a different <laughs> outlook. <laughs> you can't take the people... And then you got him out of the city limits and all of a sudden... <laughs> He didn't, he didn't look right anymore. It's like buying a used car. Looks great in the showroom. Boy, did you say the right word. Used car, huh? I never even let, me, let him kiss my hand, so I don't know how used he was. But I do. <laughs> but I, no, it wasn't for me. I, I don't know the joke or prince. I, my next husband will be a truck driver because that's my type of man. I like a real man. You and a truck driver. Why not? I like a real man. I, anybody who's not a real man can't last with me longer than... Two, three hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, now, so you're serious. You would get married again if somebody said, if you met the right guy. Well, I don't think I want to get married again because I was married since I was 15 yeah. years old. So I'm so happy to be free. I would think so, sure. And I can get, oh, girls, you don't know how wonderful it is to be free. I know it. <laughs> But now, when you were, say, on your fifth or sixth shot at it, did you, did you, in your heart, think, okay, this is going to be it? Every time I sing, it's, well, I was 15. I was married to a Turkish ambassador to right. Budapest. This, this was in Hungary? In Bud well, we lived in Ankara, Turkey. Oh. That lasted two years. At seven, I came to America, and Conrad Hilton married me. He bought one of the hotels here, and he married me. He said he made a package deal. Mm -hmm. I, did, I, did, <laughs> I didn't speak to him. you got to have a place English. to take her, I suppose. But, uh, um, <laughs> Now, well, Zsa Zsa, we gotta we got to go away for a commercial. Are you wicked? Because I don't understand half of the things you say. Oh, that's all right. I, I, <laughs> that's right. Nobody really does. It's not necessary. Uh, we'll be right back. Let me, let me, Paul, I promised Paul I would introduce you to Paul. This is Paul Schaefer, Hi, Jaja, Paul. our a, musical director and our good friend. It's a great music, Paul. This God, is I a, love it. Jaja Gabor. Hi, how are you? You are so fabulous. So nice to meet you. I haven't seen any true husbands, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> 
That's Paul. He wanted to, he was excited about meeting you on the That's show. That's great music, guys. Great. Let me ask you one more question about uh, being married, and then we'll go oh, on to God. other things. Okay. Uh, I, I read this afternoon we were talking about your appearance, and uh, you have not received alimony in any of these settlements? I never ask. When I want to go, I go. And if you want to go, you don't get alimony. Because I usually go when I fall in love with somebody else. You see? <laughs> oh, you, so you've always elected to leave. Oh, I to always... Go. Nobody yeah. ever put me out. I'm such a good cook, you see. But the problem is that sexual attraction only lasts two years. And who wants to stay with a man if you're not sexually attracted? Yeah, that's... that's so I go. True. But... but... <laughs> But knowing that about yourself, why would you why would you get married in the first place? Just because maybe date. I don't Do you know. date? You see, when I was a little girl, I was always petrified. Nobody wants to marry me. Oh. So that is a hangover. But now, not any longer. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know why I got married. I was raised in a convent, and you can only sleep with a man if you're married to him. It's a truth. Oh, that's so. That's kind of been your thinking all the way along. But I, I yeah. changed my mind now because everybody lives in sin. Why can't I live sure, in sin? Sure. What the hell? Let's go. <laughs> uh, now you, you're visiting New York City. Now when you come my to town, my sister Eva is in a wonderful play here. Oh, you that's can right. take it with you. Yeah. Then I saw last night. She's wonderful. Then I saw last night Casual Fall. Did you like that? Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Jerry Herman, my dear friend, wrote the music. Now, when you come to town, or even when you're at home, do you go out every night? Is every night a party for you? Oh, you're not always... at all. I get up at 6 every morning. I'm on my horse at 7 o'clock. I don't like to go out. And if I go out, I come home very early, mm -hmm. because I like to get up early in the morning. What's an exciting night, though, if you're going to go out? What's I the... feel, but if I go out, that's not exciting. Exciting night is only when I stay home. Oh, I see. <laughs> Uh, and what about uh, shopping? You like to go that shopping? That I love. Yeah, I am an impulsive shopper. I want to buy everything. That's why I work hard, because I love to buy things. I buy lots of presents, you know. Uh -huh. I just came back from China. Yeah, how long were you there? Only two weeks. I was in Hong Kong, Macau, and, and uh, Singapore. The, peop I... the people in China must have really been dazzled you by know, you. You they, they knew me. Every, they now, how would they know I don't know. They thought I was Chinese or something. The, the the Everybody... <laughs> Thought you were Chinese. Everybody you know? knew me. <laughs> well, Hungarians and Mongolians, we come from that, that side of the woods. But now you're talking about the actual, the local residents the of China. The people on the street say they Zaza Gabor. I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, In Singapore, every place, I couldn't get over it. Well, that's lovely, yeah, that is. lovely people. I love this Singapore. This dress is from Chinese. That's so. from Singapore, yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. Boy, you're uh, a delight. It's nice to meet Thank you again. Thank you, darling. Well, you're gorgeous, you know. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. No. <laughs> But he's a type of man I love. His hair color eyes, that's the type of colorings I love. No, no, you heard it. See, did, uh, <laughs> did they ask about me in China? No, no. All no. right. Uh, we got to go again, Judge. Hey, we'll, uh, we'll be back, folks. <laughs> Uh, Zsa Zsa, we're almost out of time, and we wanted to have uh, Mr. Black uh, come out and uh, just say hello to the folks. This is Earl Black. Uh, he's been scheduled the last two nights for the show, and Earl is uh, from Caney, Kansas. Is that correct, Earl? Right. Uh, nice to meet you, sir. You are running for president of the United States. Running for president. Uh -huh. And uh, how are things coming so far? Great. Moving right on. Oh, Moving good. Right yeah. yeah. I'm going to vote for you. Now, yeah, Earl, can yeah. you come back uh, so, Can you come back sometime next week? And... Uh, no, i got to go home and go to work. Oh. Where do you work? <laughs> uh, Where do you work? Earl has a, a, a gas station. Oh, gas that's station. wonderful. Yeah. Earl, did you meet Zsa Zsa? Yeah. We, we, uh, we yeah, met yeah, outside. He talked to me. Right. He wants to be president. Earl, I'm sorry we ran out of time. We'll reschedule uh, the okay, appearance. We uh, we're out of time, folks. Thanks, everybody who was here. Have a good weekend. Good night. <laughs>